in Ecuador, where the government has denounced, denounced a plan for a coup d'etat coinciding with Thursday's protests. Now, the plan would include the blockade of the airports of the capital of Quito and the city of Guayaquil and the bridges located on the Colombian and Peruvian borders while enclosing the palace of government. Now, according to evidence collected by intelligence groups, assault forces would also support frontline protesters in this plan. Government ministers have accused some opposition lawmakers of coordinating a strategy with former Colonel Mario Pazmino in order to cause chaos during the protests. Their aim being to undermine stability as the country readies for the arrival of Pope Francis on Sunday. Now, the plan would also have included the publication of two letters in the national newspapers, El Universo and La Hora, and sending letters to the Pope seeking to undermine his visit. We cannot, nor should we permit in our country that we're trying to build this style of politics. This is a government that has been democratically elected with a wide majority, and any such action ought to be rejected by all Ecuadorians.